welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Amanda and I do makeup videos, thrifting videos, music videos, and vlogs. So if you would like to stay with us, then go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram so you guys can see everything that I am doing outside of YouTube. In today's video, we are going to be doing this soft pink cut crease makeup look for Valentine's Day, which I thought was very appropriate since Valentine's Day is right around the corner. If this is a little too dramatic, stay tuned within the next two or three days. I'm going to be filming a very soft, natural Valentine's Day makeup look as well. So if you would like to see how to achieve this look, then keep on watching. Okay, cool. So to start, um, I'm going to go ahead and prime my eyes. I have my Morphe Eyelid Primer. I'm just going to apply this all over my eyelid and just kind of blend her out. Now for today's tutorial, I am going to be using majority of the Morphe X James palette and then some of the 35V shades also by Morphe just because these are newer launches for palettes and I feel like a lot of people have them. Um, so, especially the James. So let's go ahead and jump right in. I'm going to go ahead and take the shade Canvas, which is this one right here, and just apply that all over my eyelid as a base. And I'm using a Morphe E13. This is my favorite brush to apply a base color. I'm just going to dust her all over. To start, I'm going to go ahead and take the shade Mary from the Morphe and James palette. And then just apply this all over my crease um, and that outer corner of my lid area. So I'm tapping on the, the shade. And then I'm going to go ahead and start to bring it up into the crease and then all the way to that inner corner. I'm gonna go from inner corner all the way to outer corner, just back and forth, because we are going to be doing a cut crease today. I want the color to be very prominent. You can get a little messy with this too. If it gets on the lid, that's okay, because remember, again, we are going to be cutting the crease, so it's not really a big deal. I'm just going to go in with a fluffy brush with no pigment on it, and or no colors on it, so it's a clean brush. <laughs> and I'm just going to diffuse the lines here. So for some reason my camera turned off, I don't know what happened, but um, let me move you guys down a little. I'm going to zoom you in, it's probably going to be more zoomed in than the first frames, but that's okay. For some reason my eyeshadow on this eye is getting like patchy but it's not just today it happened to me yesterday too which is so weird to me and I couldn't blend it out so I'm just gonna leave that alone I'm gonna go ahead and take my ColourPop no filter concealer I'm actually going to use this to carve my uh, cut crease today I'm gonna take a Morphe M421 brush and we're just gonna go to town I'm gonna get why do I keep saying go to town I don't know but I'm just going to start tracing where I want it to be so for me I like to start on the inner corner just like right there. I know that's weird, but I like to start here because I feel like I can kind of create how far out it's going to go, you know? You could even just throw some color on the lid. And you want to take it above where your actual crease is because you want to be able to see it when your eyes are open, you know? And now I'm just kind of taking it onto the lid and then I'm just going to open and look to see where I want to make any adjustments. So I'm just opening my eyes, looking straight into the mirror. I kind of want to go a little bit higher right up here. So that's just what I'm going to do. I'm just going to add a little more concealer up there. After that, I'm just going to go into canvas from that James palette again and I'm just going to set that concealer. I'm also going to use it to kind of diffuse this little line right here. And then we'll just come back to her in a second. I just wanted to set it so it doesn't crease and go anywhere so I can jump over to my other eye. Now I noticed once you do that first eye, it's a little bit more time consuming. Once you get over to the second eye, you already know where you want to go. So I find it a little bit easier to do that second eye. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and take these two rose gold shades from the Morphe 35V, this one here and this one here. 
and then take this onto the lid. The lid, the lid, the lid. These also kind of remind me of the two rose gold shades from the Jaclyn Hill palette, if you guys have that one. I'm just gonna go back into that Mary shade from the James palette and then just use this to kind of blend the two shadows together. This way we don't have any harsh lines going on. Okay, so what I'm gonna do next is I'm just going to take a small definer brush, flat definer brush, and I'm gonna go in to that Mary color. And I'm gonna use this to kind of really define that cut crease right on that inner lid area right here. Just so she pops a little more. Then I'm gonna go ahead and just take a little crease brush. I dip a little bit of Mary in it and then go ahead and blend her out. Okay, so I do wanna add a little bit of glitter to this look, so I'm going to mix two different glitters. They're both from Eye Candy, I'm going to mix Double Bubble with Marshmallow. And I'm just gonna go ahead and take my Too Faced Glitter Glue onto the back of my hand. And just a tiny little lip brush, I'm gonna use this to apply the glitters. And I think I want the glitter to be like right here. Like right where the crease meets that inner um, lid shade. It's just like a subtle glitter moment. Add a touch more of that double bubble. Because she's cute. Okay, so real quick, I'm just going to go ahead and apply some lashes and do my foundation and powder and everything off camera, and I will be right back. All right, so I'm back. I have my face makeup on. I put my lashes on. So I already did my foundation, my concealer, bronzer, blush, highlight, and everything. I'm just going to finish the lower lash line. I'm gonna go ahead and go back in with Mary from the James palette, just right under my lash line with a pencil brush. Let's grab her, tap her off, and then just right along that lash line. I'm gonna go into the Morphe 35V palette and I'm gonna take, I think I'm gonna take this kind of like berry color right here and I'm gonna use this on my lower lash line as well on a flat definer brush and I'm just going to pack it super, super tight to my lash line area and I'm not gonna smoke it out, I'm just going to tap it into my lash line. Okay, that color is not as dark as I thought it was gonna be. Oh, it's still cute though. And then just going back in with my pencil brush just to diffuse any of the lines here. And I'm actually going to take my NYX Wonder Pencil. This is in the shade, it's just a nude one. It's 01 Light, and I'm gonna pop this into my waterline here. Just a touch. All right, and then I'm gonna go ahead and take some of that marshmallow glitter, if I could find it. Hold on one second. Found it. Just pop that on my inner corner right here. Inner tear duct area. Just for that little extra pop. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, then I'm gonna go ahead and add some lower lash mascara. This is like my all-time favorite mascara. I believe it's the Extreme Dimension Mascara from MAC. This is in the 3D one, though. Awesome, so now for the lips. I'm gonna go ahead and take Sore Lip Pencil by MAC, line my lips, and then just fill it in. And then I just take the side of my pencil and fill in my lip. Now this is cute. You can leave it here if you like. I am gonna go in with a lip pencil. Sorry, I'm like really itchy. Um, Lip Crayon by Morphe in the shade IRL. I 
I guess that completes the look. All right, you guys, so that completes this look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This cute little Valentine's Day makeup look. Um, it was fun. I wasn't really feeling it at first, but now I am, and I really like it. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you have not already, and I will catch you in my next video. Bye.